Today I will talk about supply chain views. This is part of my series of lectures on supply chain management. This is my lecture outline. First I will talk about cycle view of supply chain. Thereafter I will talk about full push view of supply chain. And finally about full push boundary. This is the cycle view of supply chain. It comprises of at least four cycles. And these cycles are in between various facilities or stations. So, at the interface of customer and retailer, there is customer order cycle. At the interface of retailer and distributor, there is replenishment cycle. And between distributor and manufacturer, there is manufacturing cycle. And between manufacturer and supplier, there is procurement cycle. So let us see all these cycles. So first is customer order cycle. The various stages of customer order cycle include customer arrival, customer order entry, customer order fulfillment, customer order receiving. So these are in sequence activities in this customer order cycle. Then next cycle is replenishment cycle. The steps include retail order trigger, Retail order entry, retail order fulfillment, retail order receiving. So these are the steps which happen in this replenishment cycle. Then manufacturing cycle, the steps include order arrival, production scheduling, manufacturing and shipping and receiving. Then finally we have procurement cycle. So it is at the interface of manufacturer and supplier, the steps include component order arrival, production scheduling, manufacturing and shipping and receiving. So this is about cycle view. There are these four cycles at the interface of various facilities of supply chain. Then full push view. So uh, there is a full process that is customer uh, when the customer wants to buy something from retailer. So customer pulls up the product. So it is a pull process. So it is uh, that customer is pulling the product. Whereas below the retailer, usually the suppliers, manufacturers, uh, they coordinate and they produce and distribute the products. So they push the product in supply chain. So this this is the pull process, push process, sorry. So uh, this is the pull and push view of supply chain. However, and in between pull process and push process, there is a boundary. So usually this boundary is at the level of retailer. However, in certain models, like in Dell model, previously in the Dell model, uh, the pull process was still manufacturer because there was no intermediary between manufacturer and customer. Customer directly place order to the manufacturer via the website of Dell. Uh, this was initial model actually. Dell nowadays uh, do use the uh, services of retailer and distributors. So in the, the previous Dell model, the boundary between pull and push process was at the level of after manufacturer. So uh, the uh, pull process, uh, the uh, characteristics are high uncertainty, short cycle time, high service level and responsiveness. So these are the features of pull process. The push process, there is low uncertainty, there are long lead times, there is cost minimization and there is resource allocation. So this is the uh, face, uh, features of push process. So this is all for today. Thank you very much.